What's up guys, my name is Supreme and this is episode number 5 of my full and career mode in FIFA 19. Uh, we have Huddersfield up next, we're currently in 16th place, one point above the relegation zone only, so that is not the best. But, what one thing that we will do is try to sign, well, try to, you know, get players who we could sign in the January transfer window on a pre-contract. So, we'll first take a look how much wage we actually have. So we have 122 in wages, I think all contracts uh, should be looking good except for these guys who of course I cannot do anything about them which is annoying because they're on loan and these guys of course are on loan at us so you know I cannot do anything about that as well so we have around 122 I think we can get one good player and the players I will need to get are basically from the three positions because all three players are on loan at us and they are starters. So Andres Schurle, we don't have a very good backup for him you know, to step up next season. So uh, we'll need a left winger. After that, right back, we have Timothy Foso Mensa. He's not, you know, the best because he's still fairly young, you know, but he really does a good job. And after that, we only have Christy, who is a bit older, 73 rated. We would need a uh, upgrade over there and as well Rico. Now that might not be crucial. So the goalkeeper is like the third most needed thing we get. But, you know, it would be great if we get someone who is a bit younger than Fabrizio. But if we'll need it, Fabrizio will do the job, I think. So I think I'll mostly look for a left midfielder slash left winger and a right back. So I'll go and check around the transfer market to see anyone who has less than, what is now, eight months, I think, on, on their... Uh, what it's called on the contract and I'll make the shortlist okay so what I've done I sent these two uh, these three instructions left middle left midfielder goalkeeper and right back to be you know uh, finding some players who are first in quality and have less than one year in contract and I also oops uh, where can I oh trust hub found a few players myself that I know that have less than one year so if I can find them. Uh, let's just go to positions. Okay, the first two are the goalkeepers, Areola and Stracosa. I have sent to scout both of them. Then the right backs. I actually, I don't think I actually have found any right backs. No, I didn't. But for the left wingers slash midfielders, I found Iker Munyain, Thorgan Hazard, and Yasin Brahimi. I think Thorgan Hazard will be probably the best and most interesting option. But we'll see about that. Anyways, we have now a game against Huddersfield, so let's go. Okay, gonna play with my first team. So, Shurle, Mitrovic, Neres, Götze, Seri, Kearney, Fosomensa, Lindelof, Mawson, Sessegnon, Rico. And then on the bench we have Brian, Christy, Zambanguisa, Johansson, Kebano, Vieto and Kamara. Let's go. It's half time. We played very well. Just couldn't put the ball into the fucking net. But I am confident about the second half. We were playing better than them, so hoping for a win in the second. I can't believe it, we haven't won this game, man. Lussel was just saving every fucking thing. <sighs> we got a point, it's something, but... <sighs> we had 11 shots on target and everything was fucking saved. Okay, it's Liverpool away. Uh, hoping for a point, but if we can get lucky, we might actually win them. Okay, I'll go for a bit more of a defensive left side in this game. So we have Sessegnon, Mitrovic and Neres up top. Uh, Götze, Seri and Kearney will be in the midfield. We have Brian coming now in left at left back. Um, he looks pretty decent. So then we have Moss and Lindelof, Fosso Mensa to make up the rest of the back line with Yuriko in goal. On the bench we have Chambers, Christy, Schürrle, Zambanguisa, Johansen, Vieto and Kamara. Let's go. Seri takes a shot. Oh! <laughs> what a goal! Seri scores an absolute screamer. A very, very nice ball into the net. Well, shot into the net. And we are leading against Liverpool at Anfield. Fantastic. Oh, damn it. He got around me. No. Oh, I hate fucking crosses in this game. 
I always concede from crosses, and once again, Sadio Mane scores from across. Great. Sessegnon. Oh. Kearney. Someone. Here we go! Right before halftime, Alfie Mawson scores. We're leading against Liverpool once again. Hopefully we can defend this lead this time around. Here we go, we're leading 2-1 against Liverpool at halftime. It's a very good result, we just, you know, gotta keep it. No. No, god damn it. We made such a big hole in there, in our defense, and it was my fault as well. Fuck. It's over. We get one point, but it should have been three. Even even if we throw away to Liverpool, it should have been three. But I'll take one, I guess. Okay, we get a loan offer for Abraham. Abraham, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's accept that. Maybe he'll actually get loaned this time around. Okay, we'll assume this game against Southampton. We are at home, so I think we should get. the the three points, or at least a point, if not, we actually get three points, so that's very good. Goals from Lindelof and Neres. And after that match, we can do some squad training, and we have growth. Aguiar is now 66 rated. Okay, I signed up some new first teamers. I mean, from the, you know, the... What it called? From the youth team. So, let's take a look. We have Jara, or Yara, Elisio Yara, Hara, I don't know, from Uruguay. Let's give him a new number. Uh, 13 is just, I don't know, not really lucky. Give him something high, I guess 91 for now should be fine. Okay, so Quiroga, right back slash center back. 78. Uh, let's see, I think one more. Or no, I might be mistaken. Now this guy's already with us for some time. I think it's this one, yep. Now, actually, I accidentally called this guy to the first team, so <laughs> he's 49 rated, you know, so you probably can see that. Because I wanted to release him and I accidentally, uh, my, it, the input didn't confirm. And when you have to press down, you know, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, when you like go over here, you know, and you, you need to press down to release your player, and for some reason it didn't go down. And I promoted him to the first team instead. But yeah, anyways. Uh, we have Chelsea up next, so let's go and play this game. Okay, we're going to go with our first team this time around. So Shurla, Mitrovic, Neres will be up top. Good, Cesari and Karen in the midfield. Fosso, Mansa, Lindelof, Mawson. Cessini on the back with Rico and Gol on the bench. We'll have Brian, Christy, Zambo and Guisa, Johansson, Kebano, Vieto and Kamara. Let's go. Okay, 0-0 zero, zero at half time. Being honest, we shouldn't be losing 2-0. But Sergio Rico really kept us in this game so far. We haven't played too well, but it's Chelsea, it's away, you know, it's hard. But I hope we can play better in the second half and at least hold on to a draw. Ah, oh, that was a very bad tackle. That was a very bad tackle. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, we have Alfie Mawson set off, sent off. I don't think we really have any center backs. Nope, we have Christie. Six for two. Okay. I gotta take someone off. That'll be good, set. We're gonna bring Christie on. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Hazard. No, what? Oh my! Oh, no. shit, man! Tom Kearney. Oh, how unlucky were they just then? I do think. Oh, if we score from this. Three. Oh my God! We score from this. That was so lucky. We, you. I must remember to put in the whole thing, the whole attack from defense to attack, and that was just the luckiest goal I ever scored. Maybe not because of the shot, but because of what we've done, what happened at the back. But 
Okay. Interesting. Come on, blow it. Yes! I can't say it was deserved. The better team lost. I, I, I have to admit that. The better team lost. Chelsea were the much, much, much better team. But this time we got lucky. Really, really, really lucky, to be honest. And we get the three points from Stamford Bridge. We can do some squad training again. And Aguiar is again growing. 67 rated now. Another loan offer for Steven Sessegnon. We'll accept it again. Okay, we're gonna simulate this game against Leicester with our second team because our first team is a bit tired and all, all, uh, also after a few days we have Manchester United, which we'll do in the next episode. So we'll simulate with the second team, which consists of Skibano, Camara, Vieto, Zambo, Anguissa, uh, Johansson, Zupan, Brian, Odoi, Chambers, Christie, and Sergio Rico. Uh, who got the player of the year? Sorry, of the month. Kearney Grabs, November Player of the Month award. That's very good. Now, let's simulate the game against Leicester. I hope we can get at least... I mean, actually, I just hope for a draw. And uh, we get batted 3-1. And Kearney gets injured. Ah, oh, fuck me. I just hope not for too long. Let's take a look. Two weeks? Okay, that's not the worst. Uh, he won't be able to play against United. Uh, probably will come back for Newcastle or maybe Wolves or... For Huddersfield, he'll surely be back. Uh, we'll just put this back to the first team, and let's see if anything happens. Uh, again, a loan offer for Ab Abraham. It's just not happening for some reason. Uh, okay. And I think I'll end the episode over here. In the next one, as I said, we'll start off with Manchester United. They're seventh. We are currently tenth. If we win, we go. We go on par with the points with them, but they probably have a better goal difference. They have a 13, we have a... Oh, sorry. Uh, where's goal difference? I have to cal calculate it myself. Okay, so they have a plus one goal difference, we have a minus four goal difference. So, okay. We'd have to beat them by three goals if we want to go in front of them. Or at least two to be, you know, on par on goal difference, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, we're tenth now. Let's see. Five points, I think. 19, yeah, 5 points above the relegation zone. We started off with 1 point above the relegation zone, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good, you know, mid-table. I was hoping maybe we could fight for the Europa League spots, and they're not that far. You know, you never know. Uh, we are 5 points behind Bournemouth in 5th, so everything's possible. But this is it for this episode. We'll start it off against Manchester United in the next one. It's going to be a pretty big one. We have West Ham, Newcastle, Wolves... Uh, I'm very tempted to simulate West Ham, Wolves, and Huddersfield, so I would play United, Newcastle... No, I won't do that. The next episode won't be about the transfer window, but the episode after that will be. So, can't wait for that. Let's see, um, I can also show you these guys. Okay, let's go to positions. Okay, so... Munyain also brought in now Lukaku uh, for the left back, sorry, left midfielder spot, but he's also left back, so I'm not sure. I prefer an out and out left midfielder, but we'll see. Maybe Jordan Lukaku could be a op an option. Uh, let's see, I think I brought. Yeah, Remi Remiro also. Yeah, and uh, Remiro, I think these two are the players. They're getting scouted, so. Not sure how long until I can actually see. Okay, five more days for Ramira, and I don't know how many days. Probably around five as well for uh, Jordan Lukaku. But, you know, we're not there yet. We have more stuff to do. Let's see if anyone new is here. We have Vorm, but we don't really want Vorm. Let's see for the right back spots. No, Kenny Lala and Oscar. Oh, also, yeah, these guys. I don't know if I said it. Oscar De Marcos and Kenny Lala are also getting scouted. I think I've said that before. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, that's it for the episode. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace.